Hello and welcome to another special edition of This Week in Linux. Today we're going to be answering some questions regarding Ubuntu Unity. With the recent announcements made by Mark Shuttleworth at Ubuntu's Developers Summit, there have been so many questions that people have had regarding Unity and what it's going to be like for 11.04. Well, George Castro has taken it upon himself to answer as many of those questions as he possibly can with the actual Unity developers, and I'm going to go ahead and try to relay as many of them to you as I can. Question 1. When will a Compass-based Unity be available for testing? According to George, the code itself should become available on November 25th, and it should make it into Alpha 1 of Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Narwhal. And for the app menu and the application indicators, they're actually going to have a PPA available for Ubuntu Maverick, so if you want to try that out, you can as soon as possible. Question 2, will NVIDIA graphics work out of the box with 11.04? And George's response to that was, if your driver supports 3D out of the box, you'll get Unity out of the box. Otherwise, you will get the GNOME 2.x interface. But that does actually raise another question for me. Out of the box, NVIDIA and ATI's open source drivers may support 3D, but they don't necessarily do compas. So does that mean that they're not going to get the Unity interface? Uh, my guess would be once you enable that driver, you'll be able to enable Unity if you actually want it. Question 3. Will Unity be themable? According to George, no decision has been made on this yet. They say they're going to have to have at least some sort of high contrast and low contrast versions available for accessibility purposes, but as far as making it themable, nobody really knows. Since they are at Ubuntu Developer Summit, there are still decisions being made and changes that are being decided upon. Hopefully they will come up with some decision as to whether or not they will allow it to be themed. Question 4. Will Unity require patches to existing GNOME components? To sum up the answer that was given, most of the patches that are available in Unity right now are only there for Mutter and Clutter, the backend that actually runs it. When they move to Compas, it's going to be just like running a traditional Ubuntu interface, so it's not really going to be necessary to have all those patches. And they're actually working with the Compas developers upstream to make Unity more of a Compas plugin than a full new desktop environment. Question 5. Will Unity be the only option during the install, or will you be able to choose GNOME 2.x or whatever else? According to George, Ubuntu's stock CD has never offered any option other than the default GNOME option, or whatever default option they're going with at the time. So following in that vein, Unity is going to be the default, that's going to be the only thing that comes on the CD, but if your hardware doesn't support it out of the box, it will do the fallback thing to go back to GNOME 2.x. He goes on to say that if you don't want to use Unity, you can actually go into the software center and install the GNOME 2.x session. Question 6. Will the Unity launcher auto-hide? According to Mark Shuttleworth in a bug report, they're going to address that in 11.04 with an auto-hide feature, so they will be working on it. And finally, question 7. How does Unity work in a multi-monitor configuration? Well, according to George, for 10.10, .10, multi-monitor support is still rudimentary, still very early. And since they were focusing on netbooks primarily for 10.10, .10, they wanted to make it so that if you hooked up an external monitor, your second interface wouldn't be cluttered up by the whole Unity interface. But according to a comment posted by Mark Shuttleworth in an Ubuntu bug, the key idea is to get it right on the next version, even if it is just a parody with the desktop, even if it just follows along the same lines as the way the desktop would handle it. Well, I hope that does help address some questions and concerns you might have had about Ubuntu Unity. If you haven't already, make sure to check out askubuntu.com. I'll have links to all of these questions, all of the bug reports and everything in the source code, which you can find below. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.